talking to Denise out there we were talking about um, children and maybe in your life or in, uh, you've had a child that's walked away from the Lord and we were just talking about God does you know she was she said something about the prodigal and the first thing I thought of was when we have do you mind playing in the background while I talk perfect and then I don't have to do it um, that the first thing he does is that he I was just reading this and uh, a couple weeks ago he takes off the robe and he puts it on his son that's the first thing he does he doesn't ask like why were you gone what were you doing you know you were living in sin how could you do it's like the first thing we he does is he welcomes us and he celebrates the first thing he does is he gives us a robe and a ring on our finger and I don't know if you've ever been a prodigal I sure have multiple times and God's so faithful. You know, he's not like when you your dog poops in the house, you rub, they say rub the nose, you know, in the poop. He doesn't do that. He literally just puts the robe on your back and puts a ring on your finger. And then he tells everyone, he says, celebrate, my son is home. Get the best calf, get the best meal. I just... When Denise and I were talking about that outside, it just like sh shook me that like some of us need to hear that. Because God's faithful and he's good. And faithful you are. And faithful for it. Just sing that again. Faithful you are, and faithful forever you will be, and faithful you are, and all your promises are yes and amen. And all You have filled me with peace Giver of mercy, you're my help in time of need Lord, I can't help but sing Faithful
faithfulness I will rest in your promises my confidence is your faith some of you really need to believe that that you're gonna rest in his promises this morning in your confidence is his faithfulness What I love the most about leading worship in um, another church is I get to see the same but different person come in faithfully and serve. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's so sweet to see, like, oh, this person reminds me of my sound guy, or this is the woman that gets up early and prays for all of you. Um, it just really blessed me this morning. And that um, your presence here in this church, it matters every little church it matters and I think sometimes at least for me when I led worship at these large um, mega churches in the Bay Area I thought for a long time like that was just the only way to do church um, and when I came out here it was such a stripping of stuff and um, added things that God really didn't need he's like I don't I don't need that for me I just need you to be on your knees um, and so it's I, I didn't believe that like maybe the small church was so important I had I hadn't gone to a small church in so long I mean since I was a kid I think that was like the smallest church I was like was 300 people um, and so it just was a blessing this morning to see um, your people and your house come together and it's just it really ministered to me so I just wanted to say that and I think that maybe the Lord wanted you to know that that um, and everyone that is here does it with a good attitude. And I haven't always seen that. Everyone here is smiling and is so happy to serve. So I just want to say thank you. And I think also that if you've been walking with the Lord long enough, it's so easy to, well, as you're walking with the Lord, it's very easy to blame Him for things. And it's really easy to... Um, be mad at him because this didn't work out the way he wanted to. Um, but I know that as I've been a very Christian most of my life, I think for about 41 years now, I accepted the Lord when I was three and I've always walked with him. Not my best sometimes, I'll give you that, but I've always known who Jesus is and um, I, I'm still a sinner. So my walk has been like this a lot of the times, you know. Um, but when I look back, and this is where I'm going with this, is the song, The Goodness of God, is that um, he's so faithful and he's so good. And if you don't know that God, if you don't know that God, you need to know that God. Not the God that is, I think sometimes we think that things that happen in our life a disappointment to us but God is the best father he's the best parent and so when something doesn't go your way and you're trusting the Lord God is protecting you I always hear this man's rejection is God's protection and God's gonna have his way in your life this way or that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess all of us 
even the liberals in the Bay Area. <laughs> Trying to change your gender. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. This is, a, this is the truth. So, I'm just going to try my best to hold it together during this song. Because God is so good. And even in the midst of the darkest places, he does his best work. I had a, one, a youth pastor tell me, God does his best work in dark places. Jesus was born in a manger, in a dark place. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went to the fiery furnace. Daniel was in the lion's den. Esther was in her room fasting for three days. And Jesus was, rose again from the grave in the darkest place. And I know if you're going through a dark time right now, just know that God's doing his best work. He's grinding it out in you. He's the gardener with the soil. He's plowing it. He's got to get to the root. It's painful, I know. But this is God. He loves you too much to let you be who you are. He loves us too much to let us be cr junk. He doesn't want a counterfeit of you walking in here and playing church. He's not going to have that. He just can't. You can't fake worship in a holy and living God. You just can't. And for us to think that we can hide these darkest parts from our maker, who have we fooled? Only ourselves. So we just, God, we ask right now that you would take off the layers of a counterfeit, of an identity that's not us. And we only want to be who you called us to be, who you made us to be sons and daughters and as you strip that away from us God yes it is painful but it's worth it to be honest before the Lord to be true and that is what Satan can't stand he can't stand your identity he can't stand that you're a son of God he can't stand that you're a daughter of the king he hates it so he wants to fill your mind with lies he wants to fill your mind with false identities. But God, we just bind those lies right now. And we proclaim who the true Savior, the true Lord of our lives. We all know Jesus, but is he the Lord of our life? Or is Instagram? You know, or is my financial burden that I worry about every night? Or is it my child that I am worried that they're not going to do this right? Is that the Lord of your life or is Jesus king? So we just proclaim, God, that you are king. That you are a savior. That you come, God, not to, to put us in our misery of like painfulness, but you come to take us out. You come to give us life and life more abundantly. And this life, this is not our home. Praise God that we have eternity with our king forever. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me all of my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head and I will sing of the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able will sing of the goodness of God. If you need to come forward and worship, if God's prompting you to do that, do not give in to the enemy lies that there's something wrong with you if you want to come and worship your King of Kings on your knees this morning. I love your voice. You have
have led me through the fire in darkest nights you were close I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God let's just sing that verse again I love your voice you have led me through the fire in darkest nights you are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived the goodness of God, yeah. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. Oh, with every breath that I am able, that I will see. Of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Cause your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I'll give you of the goodness of God. pastor uh, gets out of the way for the Holy Spirit Amen. and um, I'm just gonna go out and say it if you guys need prayer deliverance this morning I know that your pastors and your people will be here for you to pray and there's a lot of us walking in with heavy burdens and I'm not just speaking for my own life I mean I'm, I'm feeling the Lord that, that there needs to be a deliverance this morning in our lives and it's such, sometimes it's just the smallest of things. 
sometimes it's it's the smallest of things that are holding us back in chains. Maybe it's a thought process. Maybe it's um, a worry, a fear of something you think that's going to happen. Maybe it's an addiction. But I don't know. I just, God's saying, I want to deliver you. I want you to be set free. It was never yours to carry. Fall short. I got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? I could sing these songs as I often do. Every song must end, but you never do. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is an Just one move with my arms stretched wide. I will worship you. That's a sign of surrender. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. All that I have is an But I've nothing else fit for a king Except for a heart singing Alleluia And Alleluia Come on my soul don't you get shy on me lift up your song cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs get up and praise the Lord oh come on my soul oh don't you get shy on me lift up your song cause you've got a lion inside of those Cause all that I have is an alleluia, alleluia. And I know it's not much, but I've nothing else fit for a king, except for a heart singing alleluia.
Holy Spirit and you see in the spirit realm like he's saying you know that God is waiting still and that we haven't fully surrendered yet because you are worthy of it all and I'm only speaking for myself and you are worthy of it all all of it or just some of it for from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You deserve all the glory, because you are worthy of it all, Jesus. You are worthy of it all, all things. For from you are all things. you are worthy and you deserve all the glory because you are worthy of it all you are worthy of it all we give you it all 
all for from you are all things and to you are all things oh you deserve the glory we can't sing these words until we give him all otherwise we're lying to him and ourselves because you are worthy of it all thank you lord and you are worthy of it all everything for from you are all things and to you are all things oh you deserve the glory as we worship you this morning you are worthy of it all you are worthy of it all for from you are all things and to you are all things oh you deserve the glory in day and night night and day let incense arise oh day to tell you guys this morning that whatever the thing is is that you're holding on to that you're so worried about that if you just give it to him you're just you can't even bear the thought of letting go of it I don't know if, if, if that's it's just I feel like there's a worry and that we don't want to let it go but we have to trust him because he's a trustworthy father so right now as we sing, it says when we say you are worthy of it all, he's worthy of the thing that we're holding on to that we don't want to let him have. Okay, that's the thing. And I feel like God's telling us this morning, he's like, I'm so worried. I don't want to give this to you because I feel like if I give this to you, you're not going to do what I want you to do. You're not going to answer the prayer that I've been praying, Lord. But as we sing this right now is that you are worthy of it all that means the thing the thing that you're holding on to so tightly that your hand is cramping because you do not want to give it to the Lord that we're giving it to him this morning and that we're declaring that he is worthy of it all of all things and he deserves all the glory not this thing that we're holding on to that gets no glory the worry and the fear that we're worried about this thing that you got to let it go because that deserves no glory but the hope and faith that we have in our God that deserves the glory for from you are all things and to you are all things oh you deserve the come glory come on everybody hands up worshiping the Lord you deserve it all you're worthy of it all you are worthy of it all sing it with all you have from your soul today. You are worthy of it all. Come on, give him your best praise. Come 
on church lift your voices up sing it again let him hear you come on one more time there it is there it is come on don't stop now Lift your voices, shout it loud. You are worthy of it all. Sing it again. You are worthy of it all. Come on, church. Lift your voices up. Come on. You are worthy of it all. Oh, you're sounding good to the Lord. You're sounding good to the Lord. For from you are all things. And to you are all things. Come on. Oh, you deserve One more the time. One more time. Give him all you got right now. Just the voice. You are worthy of it all. Sing it, sing it out. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. Oh, you deserve the glory. Amen. Come on, give him a shout of praise right there. Thank you.